Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds, and today I'll show you guys how to do verify operations in Mastercam 2021. So let's get started. Here's our part, it's rectangular, it's got a bolt circle pattern in it, and a slot in the back side. I've already programmed it out. We're doing three operations. So we'll go to our first plane and start backplotting these operations. So first we're just going to face the thing. And here's the entire first operation in backplot. So we face it, dynamic it, Helix bore those holes in chamfer all of our edges. Operation two, we just take the stock off the back. And this is the back plot of that. Operation three, we cut out that slot and we chamfer all of our edges. See, back plot, you can see what's going on, but you can't really tell what the part's going to look like. You can only tell what the tool paths will look like. So to tell what the part looks like, we want to go to verify, which is the icon right next to back plot. And we want to click on that. We'll wait for this thing to load. So, this thing's taking a while to load, but here is Verify, and it gave us a piece of stock that is really not what we want, because we're not going to use that piece of stock. We've actually already defined our stock with wireframe, but in order to get a really good Verify to see what the part's going to look like, we want to make our stock um, based off that wireframe right there. So, we go to the Toolpaths. Stock setup. We want to go to bounding box. So there's all these options. We want to do bounding box right now. And then we just click on our wireframe stock, hit end selection, click on the corner your plane is in. Next, we make our Z one inch. So that's how thick our part is. X and Y is already set. In view coordinates, set everything to zero. And put your Z at 0 0.01, so 10 thou. Okay. And there's our bounding box. So we go back into verify. Make that full screen. Turn the holder off, and now we'll be able to watch the tool paths and what the part looks like after. So, there's our operation one. Go ahead and click on verify and click on color loop if you want to tell the difference between tool operations. See, each, each color is a different tool path. So now we can select op one and op two, click on verify. And what this is gonna do is just, it's gonna run the op we just saw, but it's also gonna run the op that takes all the stock off the back. See, you can't, you can't do this with backplot. Backplot, you're basically watching the toolpath and imagining in your head what the part's gonna look like. With verify, you can actually verify what the part will look like before you go and run it. And you know that's why it's called verify. So I always set up verify before I actually start running my part just to check. So we can select all of our toolpaths, click verify, and see what the final part will look like.
So there's op one. Op two, we just saw this. And after this op, we could do our third op. So there's op three. It just slots it out and chamfers it. Now we can look and see what's going on. And actually, we can see that the holes in the slot are not chamfered. You can't see that with backplot. You can only see the toolpath lines it generates. So things like that you can see and verify. You know, things that aren't chamfered, gouges, all types of stuff. So there's our bounding box. And if you guys don't like the red outline, just go to stock setup, turn off display, click the check. It's still going to be there, but now you don't have to deal with the annoying red outline. That was our video on verifying operations bounding box. I hope you guys liked it and subscribe for more. We'll see you later. Thanks.